Look at her. She's like, <laughs> Thank you for being out here, community. Mad respect, thank you. I shared with you our demands, which are to defund the police by 50%, and to know that in the midst of COVID-19 mutual aid, yeah, I appreciate you, man. Respect. Fuck Tower 7! To defund the police by 50%, we have a budget for a shortfall of at least $300 million, if not more. The current budget of the Seattle Police is $410 million, more if you include other ways in which the Seattle Police get funding. Now, we don't want this to just be for the time of COVID-19. We would like to see a yearly effort to begin to defund the police, and with our second demand, invest in our communities. Invest in alternatives to incarceration. Invest. Invest in alternative safety models. We know that we keep us safe. We know how we keep us safe. We also need to see land in our neighborhoods. We've been gentrified out. We don't have homes. We don't have affordable housing. And when people don't have safe places to live, Fuck that shit, Nikita! Fuck that shit! Shit. Our third demand for today, yes, and we want to stop the sweeps, Mayor Durkin. We cannot be sweeping people ever, but certainly not during a global pandemic. Fuck that shit, I don't know about you, but I was homeless at one point in time in college. I wasn't sleeping outside, but I was sleeping in my car at friends' houses. It is so hard to get your stability when you don't have a safe place to live. It's even harder when all your belongings are thrown into a dump truck. So we have to protect our house's community members and give them transportation, give them shelter, make sure they have access to IDs. And our last demand for today, but not our last demand of the city, because let's be frank, black folks, native folks, people of color deserve a lot more from the city of Seattle. We are on stolen Duwamish land. We are asking that all the protesters that are still incarcerated in King County Jail be released and the Regional Justice Center. And we are demanding a concise, quick effort to begin to set people free from those jails as COVID-19, it's not an if, it will spread, it is a win. So we ask for concise action on that. Um, now, y'all, we can't make a demand and not allow an opportunity to respond. So let's create space for response. See what it says. There's a million live streams out here. So it'll be documented, and we keep strides towards accountability. Word? Thank you, Nikita, and thank you all for letting me enter this space. I think we also, again, have to remember that we are on Duwamish lands. We are a city that bears the name of a noble chief, and that we must always remember and center ourselves that all we have was actually taken. And what we and you are protesting today is not just the death, it's not just the death that we saw in Minneapolis. resonates over generations of black experience in America. So I know as mayor, I have enormous privilege and that my ancestors came here from Ireland to seek freedom. But the many black Americans' ancestors came here in shackles, stolen from their lands. And that every step of the way, we have to admit and acknowledge there is systemic racism and look to dismantle it. And as Nikita said, true public safety, I believe, true public safety does not come 
from police. True public safety comes from access to health care and education justice and good paying jobs and respect and dignity and making sure that we do have more progressive taxation and that those who have the least don't pay the most. We have to make sure. Yes, we just raised one of the women here just asked why. Y'all, y'all, let her talk because the more that she speaks, the more that we can hold her accountable. Imagine, listen, listen. Yeah, can I just let her speak? I, I promise there's still some people sitting in the room from different parts of the community who are waiting for me to come back. And I, I want to answer the question here, was why are badges covered up? Right. And I want to tell you that the chief and I announced yesterday that we are going to make sure that if not just the names are there, that a badge number is displayed. We won't be able to do it overnight. We will not, we will not change things overnight, and I know, I know, we ain't going to tell we get it. We're just talking out your ass, bitch. So I thank you. It is, it is history that has called you to the streets. It is history that has called you to the streets. Hey, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Go back into the room as I promised I would. I will listen Period. to the community and answer questions. When your demands, there's other demands in the room, and we will center the voices of all. Thank you. Yeah. And we need to be free now. 